And let's go now to A.T. Smith. He's the former deputy director of the Secret Service. A.T., it's great to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so I want to talk about the possibility of jail time for the former president. Most legal analysts we've talked to have said that they really doubt that any jail time would be um, administered for the former president, given the circumstances. But if that were to be the case, if he was sentenced to jail, what would that look like, given that he would be under Secret Service protection? Well, at the end of the day, the Secret Service will uh, work through whatever the parameters are uh, issued by the judge in order to make things work from a protective standpoint. Because, you know, under the law, President Trump uh, is still entitled to Secret Service protection. So whether that were a, an incarceration scenario, house arrest, or simply probation, they will work with the court officials to make sure that the security needs will be met, but at the same time that the issuance and so forth of the orders of the court will be adhered to. And I know that for a specific reason, the Secret Service did not engage in any uh, pre-conversations, if you will, about what might happen today if incarceration were were ordered. They didn't want any leaks or any sort of signal sent that would be wrong or erroneous. And I know that uh, having said that, during the time that the gag order violations were an issue, the service did have some conversations about what if, and in that scenario, there were several things put on the table, whether it's the VIP uh, section of Rikers or uh, even to some degree, there's a VIP uh, detention ward at Bellevue Hospital or certainly, you know, house uh, incarceration or house arrest at Trump Tower. So there were a lot of things mm -hmm. discussed, not in the context of this, but in the context of the gag order. But at the end of the day, and the Secret Service has put out a, a statement today saying that they will adhere to the uh, orders of the judge, but at the same time, they will carry out their mission as they always do. Yeah. And, and you know, regardless of what happens with the sentencing, there must be a heightened sense of alert in terms of potential threats to the former president, especially now that he is a convicted felon. That will take a couple of days to see, but as you can see from today's events, um, the NYPD enhanced their security perimeter uh, around the courthouse very quickly uh, because of the verdict, I think. But uh, at the same time, the Secret Service will work with its state and local partners, wherever the former president may go, to make sure that the security needs are met. In terms of threat analysis and the intelligence there, it will take a day or so to discern that. Um, normally, events may drive the threat level up a little, but then, you know, once those things are investigated over a matter of days, they tend to to flatten out again. So we'll just have to wait and see, and the Secret Service will take a hard look at that over the next few days to see what kind of uh, threats come in, both pro and con, for that matter, um, to see what sort of uh, evaluation they need to do. And that plays into the uh, enhancement of security at any venue that they may go to. All right, we will keep an eye out for that, certainly. A.T. Smith, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for having me.